Hi everyone, my name is Emma. Welcome back to Flavor Fridays. Today I'll be making a popular Korean street food, some sweet Korean pancakes. Uh, if you like our videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button. So a hotdog is a popular Korean street food. It's essentially a sweet um, bun, a very thin bun that's filled with sugar and nuts. Uh, and today I'm also going to fill it with some red bean paste because I love um, sweet and red bean paste. And the dough is very, very easy. You don't even need a, um, a hand mixer or a mixing machine. I'm going to show you how to make it by hand. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to warm up some milk. This is just going to help the yeast bloom or wake up. So just in a small saucepan, I'll pour in my milk. You can use dairy-free milk if you wanted to make this a vegan recipe. Now make sure while you're heating your milk, don't go off and do something else. Otherwise, this will very quickly boil over and then you'll have spilled milk all over your countertop. So you see how there's some steam coming up from my milk? That's warm milk, not hot milk. Um, if it's too hot, just poke your finger in it. That's still a little bit warm, actually. I'm going to let that cool off a little bit in the side. In the meantime, I'm going to add some salt and sugar into the milk. You can add this straight into the, um, into the flour as well. Either works. Again, the sugar just helps feed the yeast and the salt just balances out and um, seasons the dough. Whenever I make anything sweet, I always like to add a little pinch of salt. Um, it just balances out and brings out the flavor of all the ingredients. So for the filling, we've got two different options. Traditionally, it's just going to be some dark brown sugar mixed with some finely chopped mixed nuts. So here I've got some walnuts, I've got some pistachios, I've got some almonds. You can use any type of nuts you want. Peanuts as well would be really nice. And to this, I'm going to add some ground cinnamon. Quite a bit because I've got quite a bit of um, sugar here. And then, as I mentioned earlier, I always like to add a little bit of salt to anything sweet that I'm making. So I'll add a small pinch of normal salt as well. And then just give that a quick mix. Now the other filling that I have today is this sweetened red bean paste. You can buy this um, just from the Asian shops. Um, I really like it and I just happen to have it at home. So I brought it in specifically for this dish. And if you're ever in Korea, you'll see hot dog stands and all they sell is hot dog. They're not making anything else. And they do um, these fillings as well. And most often, like even at the end of the street, you're going to smell that like sweet caramel um, and the sugar. And it's just irresistible. It's absolutely irresistible. It's like when you're passing by um, the Asian bakery in Chinatown here in London. I just get this whiff of sweet baked goods and I cannot resist. I feel the same thing um, with the hot dog. Now that the milk has slightly cooled down, it was a bit too hot earlier, I can mix in the yeast straight into the flour. This is just plain flour. And then I'm also going to add in my milk. Now with a spoon or a fork or even just your hands, you can just mix everything together. You want the buns to be very soft, so this isn't a dough that you need to knead. Once the flour and the wet ingredients are incorporated together, you can cover it with a plastic wrap and let it um, rise. So I'm just barely combining the wet and the dry ingredients together. So as you can see, my dough is barely brought together. It's not entirely smooth, but that's fine because you're going to let it now um, rise for around one to two hours, just in a warm part of your kitchen. You can cover it with some plastic wrap so that it doesn't dry. Um, and then we can shape it um, into little buns. After the dough has risen for around one to two hours, you'll know because it's doubled in size, it's popped, it's got some air bubbles. Then you can do my favorite part, which is to knock the air out of the dough. OK. 
Okay, not too much because you don't want to develop the gluten in the flour. I'm going to tip it out onto the work surface. Now this is quite a soft and wet dough. Um, do not add any more flour because you want it to stay really nice and soft. Instead, add a little bit of oil just to make it easier to work with. And then you can separate them into smaller dough balls. Now, I want something that's maybe around this size, uh, but you can make them a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, up to you. So with your hands, knife or pastry scraper, just going to separate them into smaller pieces. And all you're going to do now is, I'll grab my cinnamon sugar nuts. You're going to flatten the dough out with your hands, just like this. You're going to fill it generously with the cinnamon filling. And then you're going to seal it. Just stretch it, fold it over. If it kind of spills, not a big deal. Seal it. So it kind of looks like this and then you're just going to flatten it out. And then when you cook it, you'll cook it seam side down. And now I'm going to make one and fill it with the sweetened red bean paste. Now you can fill it with anything you want. You could add chocolate spread, you can add chocolate spread mixed with bananas, you could add peanut butter, you could add a piece of chocolate in there, you could add anything you want. This is a very versatile dough. So I'll just add a spoonful of the paste and then do the exact same thing as I did with the nut filling. Close it up, give it a pinch and then just flatten it and there you go. So now that I have all of my hot dog ready to go, I'm going to heat up on a medium high heat, not too hot because you don't want to burn your dough. There's a bit of sugar in the dough. I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable oil and then I'm going to pan fry both sides until it's a nice golden brown. And then I'm also going to slightly flatten it so it gets nice and crispy all over. So seam side down. So the, the nice golden brown on the bottom and I check just by lifting one over. Beautiful. I'm gonna flip all of them. Give them a bit of a smush. Mmm, I can already smell the cinnamon. And now once I flip it over onto the other side, um, I'm also going to cover with the lid so that I create a bit of steam, helps the filling melt, and then cook for another three to four minutes. Mmm. So they look like they have even risen a little because the dough has cooked. Now I'm going to flip them back over to the seam side down and then I'm going to use a flat side of a spatula and just to press them down slightly so I get a bit more of a crispy um, and flat pancake. And then maybe like another minute or two and then it's done. All right, let's dig in. This might be a bit of a game of hot dog roulette because I don't know which one is red bean and I don't know which one is cinnamon. So let's try and get both. Um, I think this is cinnamon. Yes! Oh, look at that. <laughs> bit of a visceral reaction. Mmm, mmm. I love the smell of Asian baked goods and Asian baked goods in general. We really have a culture um, of sweets and sweet breads. That's very different to the ones that you find in the US or in the UK. Our breads are always um, very soft and fluffy and maybe chewy. And this is a, a great example um, of an Asian sweet treat. Let me know what 
your favorite um, sweet treat is and what's a flavor or a smell that really reminds you of a certain food. So for me, the smell of baked goods, specifically um, from the Asian bakeries, really takes me back to growing up in Hong Kong. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit the notification button um, and I'll see you next time on Flavor Fridays.